Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I thought I would sit down and chat with you about some new makeup releases. I don't know exactly when I uploaded my last purchase or pass video because I don't have like a set schedule for these videos, but I feel like we haven't seen as many new releases lately, at least over like the past week or two, although I'm filming this video on a Friday and uploading it on like a Tuesday, so of course there could be a bunch of new releases over the weekend. This week and like the next week, I believe, I do have a bunch of reviews coming out on products that I've mentioned in these videos, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them, but let's jump into it. Okay, let me start with the product that I am planning on purchasing. I don't know if I'll purchase it right away, but I do want to add it to my collection eventually and try it out. It is from Tarte Cosmetics, and it is their Shape Tape Setting Powder. So this is available now for $34. You can get it on Tarte's website and then also on Ulta's website. I'm not exactly sure if it's available in Ulta stores yet, but I assume it will be. I know the Shape Tape is an Ulta exclusive, so I don't think you'll find the Shape Tape Setting Powder as Sephora. I went through this phase where I wasn't really into loose setting powders and I was only interested in press setting powders but I've tried a few loose setting powders recently that I've really enjoyed so I will say that this one caught my eye immediately there are two different shades it looks like there is a like yellow tinted translucent shade and then also a darker shade so this product is supposed to blend into your skin tone while mattifying, absorbing oil, and shaping and baking your makeup. I don't do a lot of that under eye baking these days where you take powder and like really press it into the skin. I just feel like it's a little bit too heavy, but I feel like the actual powder could be good for like setting all over my face. So I'm interested in trying it. I know the Shape Tape concealer can be a little bit dry for some people, but one of the reasons why I like it is because I have oily skin and I feel like it stays in place really well. So I don't know if it's just like a marketing tactic and I threw shape tape on a loose powder or if it actually is going to be you know somewhat similar in terms of like the longevity and things like that so I mean either way they kind of sucked me in I'm interested in trying it I'm just not necessarily in a hurry because I did recently purchase like one or two loose setting powders that I'm kind of testing out so eventually down the line I probably will end up grabbing it I just it caught my eye and I'm interested in it what do you guys think do you think it's a marketing tactic or do you think that it could be promising let me know in the comments below. Let me talk about a few products that I might possibly purchase. I'm a little bit on the fence about them. The first one is from BH Cosmetics. I need to go on their website and place an order. I have asked you guys for recommendations. I have a list of things that you told me to try. So this is the Desert Oasis palette. It's going to be available on July 12th on their website for $22. And you get some eyeshadows, some mattes, some shimmers, some metallics, and then five highlighters as well. This is definitely a warm toned palette with like that pop of blue which is not anything super unique it doesn't you know it doesn't what am I trying to say I don't feel like I necessarily need this palette for the colors in it but I feel like sometimes when you're trying out a new brand or at least a brand that's new to you it's kind of nice to start with a palette that you know you'll get a lot of use out of that way you really get a feel for the formula because you're constantly using the shadows and because I do wear a lot of these shades I feel like this one might be a great way to try out some of their highlighters and some of their eyeshadows so I'm kind of interested in this one I don't know if I'll end up grabbing this one for sure but I do know that I need to place a BH cosmetic order I think I'll probably end up grabbing like a neutral palette and then a colorful palette so this might be my neutral choice but I have to go on their website and double check all of the recommendations that you guys gave me so what do you think about that palette is it boring are you interested let me know in the comments below Okay, I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this next release. Too Faced is coming out with a new collection. It is called the 2D Fruity Collection, and it's going to be available exclusively at Ulta Beauty in August. So there's only one picture that I saw online. I'll try to see if I can find an additional picture and insert it in this video, but it kind of looks like they have a bunch of different products based on different fruits. So I'm curious to hear if you guys are into this or if you're just like completely over fruit scented products. I know a lot of people were over the peach collection which I honestly enjoy a lot I feel like the peach collection was really high quality and I get why some people don't like scented products but are you over scented products as a whole or are you just over like the peach collection it looks like it's going to be a colorful collection in general like there are some really pretty lip glosses some glittery things there are split pan blushes or like blush highlighter duos that look really beautiful I think that's what I'm interested in and then there are a couple of the products in the back that say do you on them so I assume they're going to be a little bit more hydrating those look interesting I don't know I feel like makeup is supposed to be fun and I kind of like that they make things like bright and fun and that's what I've kind of been into lately so I'm personally interested in it but I could get why some people would be like completely over it so let me know what you guys think below 
Okay, I was going to skip over this next product because there's really like no information about it, but I wanted to talk about it just briefly in this video because I love Milani's eyeshadow palettes. I think they're so good. I just reviewed the Gilded Desires palette on my channel, so I'll link that video in the description box below. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. I was blown away by the quality of that palette. Like it's going to be one of my essential palettes and they're coming out with some new palettes. So the thing about Milani is that the existing palettes are pretty neutral, pretty basic. I think it's a good start because I think every brand, it's nice to have like those basic staple neutral palettes, but now that they have them, I kind of want to see something like dark and dramatic. And these palettes, there's not a sneak peek of the shadows in the palettes. There's only the name. So they have pure passion and soft and sultry. I feel like soft and sultry is going to be a cooler toned, more like mauve neutral palette. And I think pure passion is going to be like dark and dramatic, like blues and purples. I don't know why. I just feel like like when I hear those names, that's what I think of or that's what I hope for. They're going to be available at the end of July on their website and I'm definitely interested in grabbing them. I feel like Milani's formula is so good and I just want to see something different and I feel like out of all of the drugstore brands, I could kind of see Milani doing something a little bit different with their palettes. So those two are on my radar. Their palettes usually retail for around $20, which is not super affordable, but there usually is a coupon code on their website that you can use. Oh, and they're actually going to be available at Walmart as well early August. So at Walmart, a lot of you guys said you actually got their palettes for like $15, which is an even better deal. So they're on my radar. Again, not a lot of info, but what colors do you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments below or like what do you think of when you hear pure passion and soft and sultry. Okay, let me talk about a few products that I am not interested in buying. So I will be completely passing on these. The first one is from NYX. And I feel like a lot of people are interested in this palette, at least what I've seen online and like the Instagram comments. So I don't know, are you guys into this palette? It's from NYX Cosmetics and it is their new Swear By It palette. I believe it's available now, so I'll link it in the description box below, but it is $35 and you get 40 different shadows. So I don't feel like it's a bad value, especially because a lot of NYX palettes are expensive and you don't normally get so much variety. I've purchased like $20 NYX palettes and gotten maybe like nine to 12 shades. So it's kind of nice that there are a bunch of different shades in one palette. But honestly, I feel like NYX shadows are so hit and miss for me. Like sometimes I grab a palette and I love it and it's my favorite. And then sometimes I get a palette and it just doesn't perform very well. So I'm not usually like the first to jump on their new palette releases. I usually wait and then watch some reviews or, you know, just kind of see if they really catch my eye. But I also feel like a lot of their palettes end up going on clearance. So I don't know. I like a lot of NYX products, but their eyeshadows don't generally tend to be my favorite. And I just feel like this bright rainbow palette palette isn't really appealing to me. Okay, the last product that I'm not going to buy is from Tarte. It is their eyeshadow palette volume four from the Rainforest of the Sea collection. It retails for $36. It is a limited edition palette. I am like a sucker for a good pink eyeshadow palette. I love pink eyeshadow so much. I would literally wear it every single day. And I feel like I could wear it every single day, but because I film YouTube videos, I do try to try out a bunch of different products. So I try to have a variety in my collection so I can review products and share recommendations, but honestly, I can't help it. Pink eyeshadow is just like that one color that draws me in. So this does look like a pretty palette. It doesn't look like anything that I have to have in my collection. So that is one reason why I'm not interested in buying it. The other reason is because I did try one of the Rainforest of the Sea palettes and I did not like it. I tried it twice. I purchased it, I used it, I didn't like it, and then I got it in a boxy charm. I decided to try it out again and give it another chance. And I just did not like the formula. It was is just not my favorite. I felt like the matte shadows and the metallic shadows were a little bit dry and hard to blend and I know some people really enjoy the formula and obviously they must because they keep coming out with these palettes. This is the fourth one but they're just not for me. I also just got the Love Trust and Fairy Dust palette which I just reviewed on my channel so I'll link it below and I don't know like they kind of look similar. They're different but similar at the same time like this one has a lot of staple neutrals and a couple of lighter pinks. It does have some darker shades than the Rainforest of the Sea palette, but this one is so good. Like the formula is really nice. It's a great pink mauve tone palette with those neutral shadows. So I kind of feel like if you're interested in one, I would grab this one, honestly. But that is the end of my video. I didn't have a ton of products to chat about today because I felt like it was a slower week or two weeks or whatever of new releases, but I'm sure it will kick back up again 
very soon. The holidays are right around the corner and I can't wait to see what holiday palettes and releases are coming out. So anyways, let's not rush it. It's still summer. We'll enjoy summer in the meantime, but let me know in the comments below which products you'll be buying, which ones you'll be skipping because I do love chatting with you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.